What's up, everybody? We are back for our very third, our third podcast together, my boy WT and myself. Uh, first, I want to say, everybody, uh, thank you very much for all the uh, the kind stuff you guys have been saying. People keep asking us, you know, when's the next one? When's the next one? When's the next one? Uh, people are really, really, really enjoying it. So I, I, I want to say thank you guys very much for that. Uh, we enjoy chatting about it. We love Guild of Gardens. You guys already know uh, we're in on this. So um, WT, what's new and exciting for the week, my man? Uh, it's very good to see you. Thanks. Thanks for having me back again for our third one. Uh, very exciting. I too am enjoying the response from the community. It's uh, it's nice to to see people like you know asking, hey, hey, when's the next one? It kind of makes you feel a little good. I'm not gonna lie. So, <laughs> yeah, it's great. Like busy I said, week. we we love busy talking about you. it. Yeah, very busy week. Very 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 busy week. I actually haven't had too much of. I, it's actually been so busy. I haven't had too much of a chance to look at all the the you know the the podcasts and stuff. I always try to keep up with it. Uh, there was a few this week. Uh, actually, one I want to bring up right away. Actually, we'll bring up right off the bat. I want to talk about. Uh, so, uh, GOG, Gilded Guardians, actually started a weekly spotlight where they're going to pick someone from the community and start talking about them and kind of showcase them a little bit. I think that's great. So, uh, you know, for people that love to make content about things, I think that's very, very, very important. And, you know, we're trying to talk about, you know, the game and trying to bring awareness to it. And it's really nice that they're kind of bringing that awareness back to the community as well. Uh, you know, spotlighting uh content creators or just people in the in the community i think that's amazing so uh yeah thoughts on the whole uh you know the whole spotlight thing and, and uh that was really nice. i didn't see that coming uh it's very cool uh i like that they're doing it this is i don't know whose initiative it was ryan's the one that is spearheading it right now as he has just recently taken over and the first spotlight of the week was the infamous known cool potato and if you haven't seen it yet, he's put out a very intricate document that has everything you need to know about Guild of Guardians. And it's going to be updated over time to keep current with everything. He did an awesome job on it. I love it. Absolutely. And just a little side note, it just it just worked out this way. And hey, that's all right. Uh, GOG Academy also released almost a, a similar kind of thing with uh, what was in it. Whatever. But, uh, also, Step Fam and uh, Firebolt were in it as well. So we had four people from the community represented this week, and I, I like the direction that it it makes people feel special, and I like it. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, and anything I'll tell you one thing right now: with any game, any anything you're involved with, community is what makes everything. You know, I talk about this all the time. You know, I am a full time streamer, and I always say the community makes the community. That's what makes it special. That's what makes it what it is. And without with, with without a community, nothing's this this doesn't work. So uh, I have to say, that from who I've met and what I've seen in this Guild of Guardians community, it's just been absolutely phenomenal. The people are amazing. Everyone's cheering for each other. Everyone's trying to help each other. We understand the cause. We're trying to build this community. We're trying to build this game together, and we want it to succeed. We all want to see it succeed. We want to see each other succeed. And that's pretty rare in a lot of communities where you know people have this like weird mentality where you kind of have to step on each other to get ahead. And I don't I don't believe in that mentality. I believe that you know we can all step together and get you know wherever we need to go so i like that i see a lot of people with the similar mentality as, as that where it's like we can all help each other get to where we need to go uh take my hand let's go i i like that you know so um yeah i i uh big shout outs to gog academy step fam all of them fam you know and all those guys uh just absolutely amazing and just a really 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 good community big shout out to to all of them as well uh speaking about ryan uh, I want to say welcome in. I don't know if I've had a chance to talk to Ryan yet. Uh, Ryan, if you're seeing this, I want to say uh, big shout outs uh, to you. Welcome in. Congratulations on on everything. And I'm really looking forward to getting a chat with you and getting to know you a little bit. Uh, man, like I say, we got a really good spot here, and we're all cheering for you. And we, and we hope you uh, we hope you, we wish you all the best for sure. Uh, thoughts on uh, on everything? New, Ryan coming in, uh, Nick moving up, all that stuff. Yeah, Nick, uh, he is officially the marketing and partnerships manager. He's been hinting about it for several months now, and it's finally come to fruition. And Ryan steps into the spotlight, and Nick is still around, but I can tell he's he's really he's really giving Ryan the spotlight. And that's off to Nick for being that shrewd to Nick's been kind of a rock star around here, and I'm sure he wants to give Ryan the ample chance to establish himself. And honestly, the community has just embraced him and he, he's done a stellar job so far from what i've seen in, in just a very short amount of time uh so he's the new community manager he's hitting the ground running he's doing contest voting on twitter and the one thing i like and that nick did this as well but man ryan is on this like non-stop he is watching for anybody talking about gilda guardians on twitter and he goes and comments on them 
And that's mm -hmm. nice. That's a nice touch because it lets, lets the people know whether they're big accounts or small accounts. Hey, I see you. I recognize you. And I care enough to come here and say thank you for talking right. about us. Right. And like I said before, that's that's how communities are built. And the fact that the big dogs themselves are involved and they're they're like, hey, we see you. Uh, we see you supporting us. We're supporting you. That's huge. One hand has to wash the other. That's how that's how this works. And uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. I think I think uh, Ryan's done an amazing job. I think Nick's doing an amazing job too. I think Ryan's uh, coming in. You know, he's doing the giveaways and and just being very active in the Discord, all that stuff. He's been he's doing a phenomenal job. So big shout outs uh, to Ryan, uh, and 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 welcome in, my friend. So we do have a few things to talk about this week. Um, so we've learned something about in game campaigns. There's in game campaigns that you can play. Uh, any word on that? What do we What do we know about that? What do we know? We don't know much. Big fat zero, except that they're coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As always, they got us hanging on by a thread. Uh, right. Dang you, Josiah. <laughs> <laughs> like right. they're going to have it. Uh, most games, I'm not going to say all, but most games, they have a campaign. And what are we going to get in this? Is there going to be some story and lore, which I'm sure, I I'm, I'm totally hoping there is. I love backstory. Mm -hmm. And who knows, there could be campaign-specific items that you can get. I mean, we, we don't know. Let's hope there is. That'd be kind of cool to where there's a specific item that everybody can get. And maybe it's not overpowering, but it'll help you progress a little bit. The, the sky's the limit on campaigns. And I'm glad they're going to have those in, according to that fireside chat that they had uh, a little over a week ago. Speaking about items, okay? So this is one thing. I, I feel like items are, you know, I don't want to say make or break a game, but they're very, very, very crucial to what happens. So, they've, you know, there's uh, there's they're talking about lifesteal items. There's like items that are going to be lifestealed. Now, if anybody's played any game that's a dungeon crawler type game or like a Diablo or whatever, um, you you know that a lot of times there's a similar items. There's life steal, there's like attack speed, there's you know poison, there's you know maybe reduce their 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 attack when you hit. There's there's so many different ones. Um, how important do you think this is going to be, and how, how hard is it going to be to balance? Now, not just for the the campaign side, but they are talking about you know PvP in the future, so they got to make sure they get this right with you know you know dots or poison or whatever it is and, and snares and all that stuff. Um, how important are is this going to be going in for the PvP? Um, well, PvP that's a whole nother ball of wax, but mm -hmm. for just PVE. It's very important that they balance this properly. I can't tell you how many times I've seen mobile games put in something on a weapon, whether it be speed or increased damage or even the lifesteal. It could really overbalance or underbalance, not, not, not underbalance, but overbalance the what you can do and make it too easy. And we don't want to see that get too easy. So right. like you said, there's tons of possibilities. You could put vulnerabilities. Uh, it could be you know extra lightning damage, fire, water, air or the uh what's the other one amistice or something like that you know that could hit the scales in defeating a boss too easy and hopefully i'm sure they are but hopefully they take that into account and mm -hmm. keep it nice and balanced now speaking of doing the so here's the thing i've been thinking about this a little bit too because we were talking about you know last week we we're talking about how the uh the dungeons are two minutes long now mm -hmm. here's here's one thing i'm thinking about if, how how many either one how many guys are we going to be fighting in a dungeon if you, even if you take you know five seconds a guy or 10 seconds to beat a guy 10 seconds to beat a guy it's 20 guys i don't know man like uh, here's the thing i don't know or not even 12 it's like 12 guys um what's a good what's a sweet point what's a sweet number uh i think like 15 minutes is it's it's long what do you think five minutes what, what's a good what's a good duration for a dungeon speaking of you know underbalance overbalance what's a good i think two is way too short i think two minutes is too short that's way too short uh i feel like you don't get the momentum going in i feel like 15 is long because some people just want to get on play and leave they don't want to be stuck like oh I, I have to go or you know i have to bail or whatever uh what's like a good sweet spot what do you think well typically from what we know uh i'm gonna say that somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes is the sweet spot but uh guild of guardians has emphasized that they do want to have a quality of life aspect I believe as of now they're going for like this mechanic of like three times per day mm -hmm. you're going to be able to go in and do all your dungeons and everything if you efficiently use your energy correctly so that being said i think they're looking at possibly going for wham bam get it done and over with but how many dungeons is there going to be is the question in my opinion because if they have 50 dungeons that you can do and you have a good size roster that two minutes could turn into 
15 to 20 minutes because you're doing all these little dungeons right. and maybe that's what they want they want you quick in and out so you can experience all these quick dungeons keep your interest high and even though they're only two minute dungeons maybe they got spread out a bunch uh, a bunch uh, uh spread out amongst a bunch of other dungeons to make that experience feel like that 15 minutes or so right right i see what you're saying yeah um time will tell time will tell now when we're talking about pvp now if we're talking pvp now what are your thoughts now do you think this is where all those like the mythic guilds are going to come into play like you know the esports teams uh do we have a lot of esports teams even interested right now is there some that you know are probably in the works what, what's going on? i know we have there's what there's four is there four uh guilds right now right there's four guilds that have um mythic ones we have blackpool ygg disciples of Cain, and the new one just came in uh, is it kratos guild uh just came in so uh welcome i just want to say welcome into the kratos guild uh the newest addition to that um how big is esports gonna be like how competitive can this game get you know what, what what's the what, what's what's going on with that like what's the rewards for what com how competitive could pvp get well, that, that really depends on what the product they put out there. Yeah, uh, yeah we do have the, the new guild, uh, Kratos, out, uh, out in the public that we know about. Uh, there is also, oh, my Lord, I just forgot. I had their name right before we started. I lost it. Uh, man, all these guys. I know it starts with them. Meta, uh, Metaverse? Uh, Metaverse? Uh, not, <laughs> not Metaverse. <laughs> Uh, they're going to be so mad at me. I forgot their name. Already. <laughs> but they bought a legendary guild as well. So they're going to be up there. They're an esports company. My apologies for forgetting your name off the top of my head. Um, so the esports, it's really going to depend on what the platform is for PVP. And I think this is way down the road, too. I, I, I don't see this coming out anytime soon. Uh, we don't even have the game out yet. So I, right. I expect this to be down, down the road because once you once you introduce PVP, there's all kinds of potential bugs and just issues that could come up and they're going to want to iron those out and make sure it is a quality product before they put them out, put it out. And how is that going to look? Who knows? I, I have a few examples of uh, PVP on mobile. And most recently was Marvel strike force. And that right. was like a turn-based PVP aspect and kinds of different Factors went into that on, on if you had a good team or not versus another team. And it was a lot of, it was a lot of like kind of chess kind of like pieces. Are they going to go that route? I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to be a lifetime uh, all out melee. I think it would be way too complicated to pull off. See, so I expect them to have more of a organized uh, something where it's more of like a chess match of who you got going against who else, what are the other team has. Interesting. Cause I was thinking, I was thinking the total opposite. I was thinking it's going to be like almost like an arena where it's just a small little dungeon, nothing too crazy. And uh, you have your team, they have their team and you just kind of go and it's like, cause here's the thing. Like I've played many MMOs back in the day. I played many, 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 many MMOs. And uh, it's a lot of just like positional stuff and, and, and just, uh, you know, team awareness. Where's your team at? When to pull back, when to kite, when to push in things like that. And I, I just, like, I just, you know, again, we don't know, but I was assuming it's like, it's, it would be very similar to that kind of like a little arena kind of thing. And uh, basically you go in and your two teams kind of meet and then you're trying to like you know bait each other either try to overextend them to to turn back and push or whatever it is uh kind of that not just kind of stand there and fight and just you know mash buttons i, I thought it was gonna be more intricate and more uh real time but that's interesting you say that because i mean again we don't know we don't know um i i hope it is mm -hmm. i hope it is that would be awesome that's yeah. what i would hope for but can they pull that off and it, it runs smooth that's the big thing you you can have all these plans in the world but right. if you don't make it run smooth i mean you're gonna Nothing, more, nothing can sink a game faster than it not working right know? no no for sure for sure <laughs> that's what i mean the balancing is as we've talked about this many times with pay to win to uh, play and earn and play for free and and actually i want to i want to talk i want to talk about uh that for a little bit i just i want i don't want to jump on it too much but um here's the thing this is the way i look at how they they keep saying this game is going to be free to play and they're very 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 adamant saying it's fair it's free to play uh now you have people out there there's whales of course and there's people that just invest to play and people want, maybe want one hero or four heroes whatever it is but they keep saying it's free to play now this this is the way i see it okay this is the way i see free to play now there's play and earn they're calling it play and earn and they're calling it mm -hmm. free to play so the game is free to play okay so you don't have to invest in it you can play for free but if you it's just like any game if you invest in it if you buy the better whatever you have a better chance of getting that reward back right so 
they keep saying this is a free to play game. You don't have to buy heroes. And I think they're very, they're pushing that because it's like, yes, this game is free to play. You don't have to buy heroes. You can play it, but your earnings are going to be very, very, very minimal, very, very minimal. But if you want to uh, earn, you can play and earn. And that's when you buy all those heroes. That's my view on it. I could be very wrong. Uh, I could, you know, totally misread it, but that's the way I see it. I keep, I keep going back. Like, how are they going to balance this? How are they going to balance this? And I think that's the, I think that's where the mentality is. It's like, you can play for free. You don't have to get involved. You don't have to invest, but your, your return is going to be, or your return, your earnings are going to be very, 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 very minimal. Whereas if you do invest, you have all that, that pool to work from and you're, you're going to, your investments are going to come back faster, your ROI or whatever you want to look at it. Um, thoughts on, thoughts on all that. I, I think I, that's the only thing I can figure out, man, where that balance is going to come from. What do you think? I don't want to. Yeah. What do you think? Uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm with you. I don't know how they're going to do it. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I said last week, if they got something up their sleeve, they're, they're very quiet about what they're going to release. Uh, they'll tease you now and then, but they don't give you much, which mm-hmm. we're getting kind of used to. That's that's just what they do. <laughs> they love the tease. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, man, you're, you're only getting one common hero, and you're you're going to want to have four. You right. I don't want to have four. I mean, it, just the coolness factor of being able to toggle between your characters and do all these different things and just to have one in there. I mean, yeah, you can do it, but they have said your, your progression is going to be much slower. So it makes sense that it technically is free to play. Mm-hmm. If you want to advance meaningfully, you're going to have to pick up a few rare heroes, bare minimum. And you now there's that, you know, kind of balance of what they can do. And so I just fall back. They, they either got something up their sleeve or is it is going to be kind of pay to, pay to win, you know? So unfortunately it is a tough thing to solve in this industry. Yeah. They're aware of it and we're aware of it too. I, I, that's the thing. I, I know every game tries to, tries to be, you know, free to play friendly. It, it just, it's, how you know how do you you how does that happen when there's money involved you, you know some people just have a lot of money and they can throw it in i you know absolutely okay so uh they did release <clears throat> excuse me they did release some new screenshots this week which uh were awesome i mean i got to first of all the the ui is amazing i think the look of it was so clean so clean it looks amazing um the it, man oh. is a uh... Nalan, the UX lead, he's a bad mother. Oh, shut your mouth. <laughs> Dude, this is amazing. Yeah, um, awesome. yeah, so they got the whole the raid in progress. You see the 16 heroes up there and all that stuff. Uh, it looks awesome. So this made me want to play even more. Like, I'm like, I need to go to bed, wake up. This game needs to be in my hand. Like, I can't. When I see things like that, it gets me amped up. That really impressed me. I think it just, it looks phenomenal. The UI is perfect. Uh, talk to me about it, man. Talk to me. Uh, did you see this little reward screen part? There's uh five rewards there. Yes. What sticks out to you in there? Uh, I see some gear. I see. Is that an energy? Oh yeah. That's what I want to know. Is that really? Are are they gonna reward an energy booster? That is like my eyes blew up when I seen that because are they giving those out really. I think what that is, no, yeah, I know that's got to be maybe you get one energy back or something like that. There's, they're not giving out energy boosters. There is no way, zero chance, zero I, chance, my friend. I'll be honest, I hope not. <laughs> no, no, no. They, they can't be giving out energy boosters. That, that, I think what that looks like to me. I mean, I could be very wrong, but what it looks like to me is that it's basically, um, just like maybe you get an energy back or something like that. Uh, yeah, they can't. Prediction will uh, be uh, laughed at if that is the case. If they're if they're flinging them out willy nilly like that, but yeah, no, we'll there's see. that would never that would never happen. So I see there's like a currency. Let me pull this up. Let me just pull this up over here. I'm gonna cover our faces for a yeah. second because I don't have this set up properly. Okay, so for those that uh, that don't know, oops, hold on. Let me just I'll have to fix this one second here. Uh, so for those that that see this page right here. Um, this is what it is now. So we've got, uh, the 16 heroes. This looks amazing by the way. Uh, this is what we're talking about right here. So there's, I think that's plus one energy. I'm not sure. I, I don't know. Uh, you see the, the currency, you see the boots, a helmet and a bow. Um, what's all this stuff, uh, recommended reinforcing. What's that? Oh, that's going to be, uh, for the raid leader to decide who he wants to put in here. It's just a suggestion of what you will probably need to take on the boss, which is pretty cool. It gives you a heads up. I was mm-hmm. kind of surprised to see that in there. I, I thought they would want you to figure it out yourself and have that kind of 
difficulty learning curve. What they're saying, hey, you should have, uh, looks like three tanks, uh, one caster. Oh, I'm sorry, not three tanks. Three melee, one caster, four tanks, I think that is. Yep. Uh, four DPS know what, or whatever. Maybe, maybe that four, maybe that axe is four two-handed weapon specialist, maybe, or something like that. Uh, number three, I'm going to assume that's like your utility support players. And hmm. last one, it looks like it's calling for one healer, maybe. I, I'm just guessing yeah. on the stuff I don't know. Interesting, yeah. Yeah, interesting, interesting. So here at the bottom, we see it says 9,000 power and then 13,000. So is that saying that the team... The team's power is is uh, combined nine thousand, uh, and the enemies is thirteen thousand. Is that what we're thinking? It's either yeah, you would think so with that fist there. That means power, but you know, I was kind of wondering if that's like your overall health versus the monster's overall health. Hmm. I also noticed uh, one of three attempts. So like, I was expecting these raids to be one raid, and you either won or lost. But they've got three attempts here, so you get multiple cracks at this monster. So if you don't get it the first time, then you're selecting from your guildmates again, and that could come into play because, like, you got 50 guildmates to draw from, and you want to take in premium heroes each time. You're going to have that option, and it's going to be interesting to see if there's any cooldowns associated with this, also. So that way, if you can do multiple raids, uh, you're going to have to pick and choose when to use premium characters and not if it's going to take uh, three attempts to take down a, a boss. Right. So he, now, I, again, I have no idea. This is the way I look at this. So it says time remaining, two days. Basically, I guess it was three days probably. And you get three attempts. Now, could this mean that you have three days? You've you've unlocked this raid. You have three days to beat it. You can do it three different times. Uh, even if you fail if you fail or you succeed, you get three cracks at this raid. Um win or lose you know what i mean i don't know is that what it is because it's saying you have three days to beat this basically um or i don't know i don't know i don't know that's i don't know I this is, it. that's that looks know. like a, a, a you gotta you gotta get it done in a certain amount of time right and, and, oh that tells me well, when you raid with characters i i that gives me a feeling that there's definitely gonna be cooldown timers on uh characters being able to use them again this is pretty sweet so we see two tokens two uh boots I think that's one energy. There's there, there's zero. There's no chance they're giving out boosters. <laughs> I, there's not a chance at all. Zero chance of that. Uh, helmet. Uh, one point five. Uh, one point five. Ethereum prediction is in jeopardy if that is. <laughs> yeah. No. No. They would never ever. That, that that is not a chance. Not at all. But yeah, that's. I thought that was pretty neat, man. I thought that was pretty neat when they uh, when they when they showed this. I love the the UI. I thought it was absolutely beautiful. And uh, look at these heroes, man. Look at that squad. What what do we got there? We got a lot of. Uh, um, Actually, we got kind of all three. We got all three. What's the most there? What do we got? Uh, you got a, you got a legendary, say Karkuk, legendary Freya, leg legendary Ta a Tavos, and then uh, you got a lot. You got some rares and some epics in there. I only see the uh, Karkuk, Freya, Tavos for the legendaries. Everybody else is uh, epic or less. Did you see the uh, little left hand bottom screen there with the little uh, spot for people to contribute to the raid? Where do you see that? That is at bottom left. Uh, there's like a hand holding something and like yeah. three little spots you can put. Yeah. I think that's where people can contribute. What that is, I have no idea. Interesting. Then we got the 50 of 100, 80 of uh, 100. I guess we don't know what that is either. Energy maybe. And hmm. I don't know. The other one maybe mana or I, I don't know. I was scratching my head at those. Interesting. I, I'm clueless on those two. Yeah, I like I should, it. I asked around, but I didn't. <laughs> I like it. I like it. Yeah, no, I thought this was really cool, and I definitely wanted to show that and talk about that uh, for sure. Uh, give me one sec here. I'm going to just close this. Uh, give me a sec. Okay. Um, yeah, so that was the 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 UI. I thought that was beautiful, and I really, really, really i am looking forward to, to that. That looked amazing. Once I saw that, I got super excited. Um well, uh, what else? So, so, okay, so we got the new screenshots. Uh, another thing too, if you're if you're in the Discord, uh, the Guild of Gardens is looking for new mods, new mods in the Discord. Is that something you're you're looking to get into, or what's going on? Heck, no. <laughs> That's a lot of responsibility. You know, it's time. You know, well, it's tough. I'm, uh, I'm, I only have so much patience, and I can be pretty patient, but mm -hmm. I think that would be bad for them to pick me. I'm just being honest because <laughs> that ban hammer when when right, we're too old, man. We don't. Start... have... We don't have that young patience anymore. We're old now. You know what I mean? We're 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 parent. We're dads. We got kids. You know. It's like, you know, <laughs> we don't have that patience anymore. 
Yeah. So they're, they got a, a, a Brian hinted in Discord that there's going to be a senior mod position. I guess for the old moderators, what that means, what does it look like? I have no idea, but he did right. mention that in Discord. Then, yeah, they're taking applications for new moderators, which probably going to need them. When this game blows yeah. up and it gets to crazy numbers, they're, they're definitely going to need them because there's days where they make announcements and everybody comes flying in. And I know, I know the moderators get overwhelmed as is. For sure. No, it's a busy Discord. It's a busy community, which is good, is, which is good. But, yeah, you definitely need more hands on deck for sure to, to kind of maintain it all. For sure. For sure. Um, okay, let's talk about pets a little bit. What do we know about pets? What's new? What's new and exciting about pets that we that we found out, or what we think? What are speculations? What's going on? Uh, we didn't get a chance to talk about this last time, but uh, one thing I did want to talk about is in the fireside chat, uh, Josiah was it Josiah? It was one of them. They were talking about pets having uh, uh, their abilities, uh, passive and ultimate. They increase with level, so you don't go in and put in points or anything. As you level up as a character, your passive and ultimate abilities get better and also which was a very i I like this kind of stuff it's it's attention to detail they're going to put flavor into these uh, abilities that maybe it won't be completely transparent is when you use it but eventually the lore or backstory is going to mean something to these abilities so like let's pretend freya she does she pops her ultimate maybe shields pop up or something and it it's got a story of like maybe she had to defend her village and this is where her ultimate comes from from that experience we don't know i'm just speculating here throwing out i have no inside information right. on this i'm just kind of like you know my inner nerd is coming out like <laughs> yeah let's get some you know cool backstories that you know we can not just financially invest in these characters we can you know kind of a little bit emotionally invest of knowing why they do what they do right 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 that's the thing man it's it's the pets are i, I think the pets are super important um again i, I think undervalued I and mean, we don't know enough about them so speaking of that where, what are prices looking like right now what are prices looking like what are we where are we at i know the the market itself as a whole is you know obviously not doing too great uh just the whole crypto market itself right now but uh what are we looking at what are we looking at for um for pets and, and everything what's going on talk to me uh apologies i just like i got off on a wild tangent last one we were talking about pets and yeah uh same thing for pets cool little flavor backstories and all that stuff and possibly uh naming them and being in there able to interact with them i don't know how i got off on here no 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 you're good you're good you're good <laughs> just got rolling with it so uh as far as pricing um yeah it's been relatively relatively stable of late it has had a slight decrease and i was actually expecting more of a a ethereum going up on the pricing because the overall market for crypto has been down severely i was wondering if people would be pulling and then adjusting their prices but uh for the most part besides Rares and epics have gone up somewhat, but like everything else has stayed relatively the same and the overall volume was down the last couple of days it did pick up a little bit so that that's kind of where we're at right now it, it seems like a holding pattern for yeah. prices on assets and we've, we've talked about it you know once i think once there's more uh closer to the release or there's a date uh i think that's when you know uh things are going to kind of move around a bit right now we're in that that waiting phase and of course man that's that's just the way it is um but yeah so i want to talk yeah so uh we talked about the uh the screen we talked about the prices um gog and the mods um the pvp the lifesteal uh anything else we should be talking about anything you want to mention oh boy um yeah in discord i've noticed uh a lot of people are trying or not trying there a lot of people are speculating that the pfps are going to be related to getting into alpha and right. I'm seeing a lot more of that around being talked about. There's a lot of you know people like, oh, well, they did ten thousand, and they said, you know, tens of thousands of people are going to be needed to test this, and they're trying to tie these pieces together. Me personally, I don't think the first alpha is going to be related to these PFPs. I'm not going to say it won't, but mm-hmm. I don't think so. Uh, maybe down the road, yeah, I could see that down the road. The next uh, session that they have to test or actually play the game, they could be like, hey. If you own one of these PFPs, 
you get a, a first ticket in for maybe the first month and it's only exclusive to those people. And then after the first month, maybe they let more people in something like that. It's just right. so they, they can balance how many are coming in and still reward the people that are holding those. Right. Uh, uh, right. See, I don't have one of those, man. I need a profile picture bad. I just want to play. I just want to show it off, man. I want to be, you know, my Twitter handle. I want my Instagram. I want uh, my discord. Uh, I'm getting jealous every time I see it. But again, like I always say, it's like how, I don't know. I don't know. You know, uh, I'm jealous, man. I'm jealous of you guys. So, um, yeah. So I, I, I think I, for, for alpha, I think, you know, I think content creators are probably would be one that's going to get in. Um, I think active community, active members in the community. I think that's going to be important. I think the the active members are going to get it and yeah, maybe the profile, they, they have to figure out some kind of system, uh, to get you in there kind of, kind of thing. And, uh, for the most part, other than the giveaways, Actually, there's been there was a giveaway this week if you had profile pictures. Mm -hmm. That's right. There was there's another two of them. That's right. There's a two of them. they did right. one for uh, one going on right now for if you put out a meme. That's right. And the other one was uh, oh, what was it? you posted your your uh, public address, something else. Ryan put out both of those, and they were both for PFPs. So yeah, they they've been very aggressive on mm. events and fun stuff in the community since since Ryan's come on board. Yeah, um, and 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 like I say, the more the more I feel like the more there's giveaways and more things that are being done with these with these uh, profile pictures, I think the more value it's going to put on them. Just because people are like, well, I missed out on this giveaway, or I missed out on this event, or I missed out on this opportunity. Um, you know, it's it's I, I think that's going to even put more value on on those. Uh, just by them throwing these giveaways out and stuff like that, you know, I mean, uh, absolutely. So, um, anything else we want to talk about? What is, so what, what else is there to talk about? Was there anything that happened, any, any crazy things that happened with GOG this week? Um, and Oh, not actually not one really. thing, one thing I do want to talk about, sure. one thing I do want to talk about, um, my buddy, uh, my buddy from GOG or sorry, Guild of Guardians or Canada, a, uh, he does have a sandbox game that he put out that I played it on the stream, uh, very, 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 very cool game, guys. You got to check it out. Um, I don't, it, I don't know the pages that it's on, but, uh, you know, it always moves and, and the way sandbox does things is you can't, you know, search up the game or whatever. So, uh, I can't even tell you where to find this, but I'm sure we can figure it out and put it down in the link below or something. Um, it's amazing. So, uh, I just want to say a big shout out to, uh, O Canada A for, and, and the people in there for making the, this, this game that you can play and it's super fun super super fun so uh i'll definitely try to put the uh, link below or or if uh if, if if he comes around the video and checks it maybe he can post a link too or something um but uh, yeah that would be a fun thing to try out guys you should check it out it's on the, it's part of the sandbox super cool and uh highly recommend trying it out highly recommend trying it out so it's it's people in the guild of guardians community that are building things in the sandbox uh you know and it's just it's it's um, it's been amazing man i played it it was fun there was two there was a maze there was something else super fun uh highly recommend checking it out He's, um, uh, he's he's been working a ton and put a ton of hours in that. I can't wait to see the unveiled one that he hasn't really shown off a whole lot yet. He's got he's mm -hmm. got the one that he let out initially, and then mm -hmm. he's got another one that he's gonna making that is gonna be like this grand opening for what he's got going on. So right. I'm looking forward to that as well. Yeah, I played the initial one. It was it was a lot of fun. He did a great job. Absolute, uh, just incredible. Like very 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 well done. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what, what the future brings, but yes, I uh, highly recommend checking it out guys. I'll put any link or page or whatever below that, uh, that if you want to find that and play it, it's free to play. Uh, and it's, it's absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. Um, all right. Any closing statements? You want to say anything on, on the closing statements? A quick clarification from last week. Uh, we, we were talking about, you couldn't, uh, merge reborn and a little clarification on that. I went back and checked. You cannot merge uh, epic heroes into the legendary and get a reborn. So I just right. want to clarify that to, to keep on point that I'm a little bit somewhat accurate sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, you can't, you can't. There's no chance of getting this reborn. If you didn't get it in the in the sale or you're picking it on the second market, you cannot get these heroes ever again. It was a 24 hour or 48. I don't think they ended up going longer. I don't know what it was, but uh, whatever it was, they had a sale for so many hours. That was your only chance to buy it. Other than that, it's second market. There's no, no, I mean that we know of right now, there's no way to get this hero ever, 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 ever again, which again, I always say, I don't understand why it's, um, so low. I don't, I don't understand why it's so low, but it is what it is. I, I truly believe this this hero is very, very, very undervalued. I've been saying it since the beginning. I just I don't know why it's it's this low. Um, okay, I think that's it for today, guys. That was uh, it's always fun chatting with you. 
Uh, WT, you're a beauty. I'm going to put all your socials below. We're going to put our socials below. Uh, again, not too, too much happening this week. Um, you know, I didn't have a chance to watch a lot of these podcasts because I was super busy myself. Uh, WT was working uh, super busy as well. So it was just, it was a tough week to get all the information coming in. But uh, I think one thing I want to definitely do is maybe bring in some of the community members, like from O Canada A, we chat with them, or, you know, Step Fam, or whoever, man, at Joji Academy, you know, uh, we have a lot of awesome friends in the community that, that you know, uh, that are great content creators as well, and it's, it'd be nice to get their names out there and get you guys to get to know them as well, the people that are watching our, our stuff, is it'd be nice to get, them, get to know them a little bit as well. So, um, yeah, nothing too crazy happened this week. Um, uh, um, welcome in uh, Ryan that's a big one right there and uh, yeah I think that was a lot of fun so um, thank you guys for watching and uh, when we find out more maybe next week we'll do another one and uh, hopefully there'll be more information uh, that we'll get our hands on and we can uh, discuss I'm out of here WT I appreciate you let's uh, go it's good to chat with you guys I'm out of here peace <laughs>